Today's build is another little LED chaser, but I think this one's going to be slightly different because there's no ICs on the circuit board. There's three transistors, three capacitors, so I think this will be a simple three-step chaser going round and look like it's going round in circles. Uh, we've got three resistors of one value and three of another value. On the circuit board themselves, it sells, you've got uh, three resistors at 470 and three resistors at 10k. So we need to check um, on our uh, tester to see which ones are which. The LEDs themselves are these little what are called top hat ones. Um, and we have a, a colour, I've got the battery the right way around, of a blue. There we go. Now, just a quick note about these. It's going to be very difficult to take, get it on film, but <coughs> the LEDs are not completely circular. There's a flat bit at the top there. And if we look at the circuit board, you can see a flat bit on the pattern as well. Uh, because it doesn't actually show you which is plus and which is minus. And normally I would like to see a circle or a square on the back. Well, there's neither of those, they're all circles. Um, so we'll have to go by the pattern on the circuit board and make sure that the flat bit of the LED matches up with the print on the circuit board. So let's check our resistors to see what we've got. So this is the first one. Right, so 465, so that'll be the 470s. And let's check the other resistors. Uh, 10.10K, so that'll be the 10K. So we've got three 10Ks and three 470s. Right, let's get started, shall we? First of all, we'll do the three inner resistors, which are the ones that's marked 470. And we tested that on the tester, so let's get those in first. They're in right in the middle of the circuit board, so get them done first. So they're quite easy to reach at the moment. Grab my solder. Right, so let's get those three in. And we can now do the next three, which are the 10K ones. Just hold them in while we just move the legs out slightly just to hold them in place. There we go, we can get them soldered on.
There we go, chop the legs off. Right, so the next thing we'll do is the three transistors. Uh, they're all the same, all these three are the same, so we'll just move the legs out very slightly and then we can pop them in. Now they do need to go a certain way, way around. So if we look at the end of our transistor we can see there's a rounded side and a flat side and that matches up with a rounded side and a flat side on the circuit board. So for example this transistor uh, the flat side goes to the right So you see these two, the flat side goes to the right, and that one, the flat side goes to the left. And the next one. Okay, let's get them soldered up. Right, so that's got the three transistors in. Next thing we'll do is the three capacitors. Now the capacitors are all the same. We've got a long leg and a short leg. And the short leg is also marked with a negative sign here. And the negative sign is on a shaded area on the capacitor. And that matches up with a shaded area on the circuit board. And on this case, they're all negative or the short cable goes towards the inside. There we go, so that's got the capacitors in place. So, last thing we can do while we're here is put the two little connections in for the power, which goes up in the top corner there. A dab of solder on the soldering iron. Hmm. 
Oops, not going to hold it tonight. Right, what I'll do then is I'll put a wire into one of these connectors. So I don't bend my fingers. Well, that will hold it into place. There we go. Okay, so that's held in place. So next thing we need to do is the LEDs. So as I said before, the LEDs have a flat side. In this particular case, the flat side is here and the rest are round. So you have to make sure that the flat side goes to the flat side on the circuit board. If you're in difficulty seeing that, if you feel it with your fingers, you should be able to see it, feel it all right. And the short side, or the flat side goes to the middle in this case and if you look around this circuit board the pattern for the LEDs are the same Right, so that's got those done. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll pause the video now. I'll solder the other LEDs this side and this side. And I'll come back to you in a minute. Right, so that's got the LEDs um, soldered on now. So that's all the LEDs soldered on around the outside. Three capacitors there, three transform, tr three transistors there, resistors there. Quite a simple circuit. Um, so let's give it a test and see if it works. So, take it off the vise. Right, so I've got me this little battery pack here. Uh, so, we've got negative just there and positive just there. Okay. Yeah, it's what I thought. It's uh, it's just three LEDs that are flashing on and off, um, but it makes it look as if it's chasing round. But that's 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 quite a nice effect. So I think we can say that uh, that's successful.